every generation have gone too far that we are able to generate optical illusion videos with AI and you can use your text or even your images to make these kind of illusion videos and these are few examples of how your video will look like so you can use your logos your images and even your own preferred backgrounds and the best part that this is totally free to use so in this video i'm gonna show you how you guys can do it too so without any further ado let's dive into the video so first of all head over to the pika labs discord server this is a free AI video generator and if you don't know how to access this simply go to the pika.art website and then scroll down a little bit and select join beta and you guys will be redirected to their discord account and now we are on the discord account but you can see we have a lot of distraction over here because a lot of people are generating videos here and to get rid of this simply click on that icon and now right click on pika labs and select message button and now you can see we have our own separate space to work with now simply type forward slash and now you can see we have two new options over here encrypted image and encrypted text so Pika Labs have just introduced these features to make illusion videos. So first of all, we're going to try encrypted text. So I'm going to click on that. And in the message box, you have to type the text that you want in your video. So let's say I'm going to type green. And in the prompt section, you have to type on what background or where you want to place your text. So I just type Amazon Rainforest. And now simply hit enter. So this is the output video. We have the text green in between these woods and leaves. But this is not visible, right? But don't worry about that, we have the command for that. And that command is dash w. w means the weight is value and we have the values between 0 and 2. So I'm going to type the maximum value that is 2. And if you want to change the font style in your video, you also have that option. So simply click on that plus button. And now you can see we have two options. So simply select font. And here we have five different styles of font. Like modern, cosmic, sans serif, Bauhaus, I don't know how to pronounce it, and retro. So I'm gonna select sans serif and let's generate. So this is the output video, and now you can see the text is clearly visible. But you can see we have very slow movement in it, and to add motion in it, you can use other commands like dash camera zoom in. So if you want to learn more about the commands, I have made a dedicated video on that so you can watch that video where I shared all of these commands in a simple way. So if you want to get best results out of it, you should definitely learn these commands. And now you can see we have a really good zoom in effect in this video. Now let's talk about the next feature that is image encryption. For that, type forward slash and select encrypt image and now you have to upload your image so let's say i'm gonna select this image and this is the apple logo and in the prompt section i'm gonna type mountains and i'm also gonna type the image weight is value that is dash w2 and i'm gonna type the motion value 2 and i want a zoom in effect and let's generate so this is the output video and you can see we have that apple logo kind of mountains but if you want to get the best results out of it i would prefer you to use your own background for that again type forward slash and select encrypt image so this time i'm going to use this image and to select your background image you have to click on that more icon and now select image and upload the image of your background so let's say i'm going to upload this image and this is an image of a beach or a ocean and in the prompt section i'm going to type ocean and water and now hit generate so this is the output video and now you can clearly see our input image in the video and you can notice that it replaced it with mountains, clouds and water waves but you can see we have a very less moment in this video but you can easily add motion in it by typing the motion commands so if you guys want to master these commands I will highly recommend to watch this video where I explained everything so that's how you guys can create these kind of optical illusions so this was just an idea and I believe that you guys can generate better videos than me because this is totally free to use and we don't have any limitations over here so you can explore a lot of things so that's it from this video and if you guys find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one